How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6 and I'm bringing a little video to you on a microwave teardown. I was just able to pick up this microwave from Craigslist and it's actually in working condition. Usually I don't buy stuff in working condition but this was in working condition and it's a GE Space Maker and this is an over the stove microwave so it's basically the same exact microwave I have in my house except mine is like stainless steel and uh, yeah I got this thing because my my next project I'm going to be working on I'm, I'm going to be building a, a spot welder so uh, the plan is to rip down this microwave bust out the transformer a couple switches and uh, we'll use that stuff to make a spot welder, make a video on uh, how, how to do that and uh, we'll show you it working hopefully. So we're going to start out by tearing this thing down. And it was made in July of 2005 so if you need any parts for this thing let me know. I've been getting a lot of emails lately on uh, parts, lawnmower stuff, engine parts and uh, if you're looking for anything from this microwave, let me know because uh, I don't really need anything from it. And uh, I'll have pretty much everything because everything works. So microwaves are pretty cool. Um, basically, from what I understand, they use like a radio frequency wave that comes out of the magnetron that we'll look at in the back of the microwave the exact same frequency that excites the molecules in water and the water molecules all kind of bounce around move against each other causing friction and that causes heat um, you don't have to worry about the microwaves hurting you or anything because they're all contained inside the door so with the door closed the microwaves can't come out and you can look in because the microwave has that screen mesh and the microwaves can't get out of that screen because they come out kind of in like a, a sine wave type of pattern and they can't fit through the little holes in that screen and actually the microwave was I believe invented by accident the guy that created that was playing around with the magnetron uh, the inventor of that actually walked in front of the thing and supposedly he had a, a candy bar in his pocket and the thing melted the candy bar and he realized that the magneton actually created great heat. So we got the cover off this thing and here's what we're really after, the transformer. So that's what we're going to need for a spot welder. Up here this thing is the uh, magnetron. You can tell it's the magnetron because it has these uh, cooling fins up there on there. And uh, down there in the back, that's a capacitor, which you have to be pretty careful. Um, you want to make sure you discharge that capacitor because that thing is, is <laughs> pretty strong. So you want to make sure you don't get sparked off by that in here. You can see these are your, your door switches back there in black. There are one, two, three micro switches on this microwave. We'll be using uh, some of those switches as well um, on uh, the spot welder. And then up here you have your circuit board. And up top here you have your ceramic fuse. And uh, here's your fan that's used to uh, cool off the magnetron um, and th those are your basic parts of the microwave so a lot of times when something's wrong it could be like a a blown fuse um, sometimes the magnetrons go bad so if you're not getting heat the magnetrons not working uh, you have your transformer that can go bad as well um, so that, that's the main things that you want to look at as far as going bad with your microwave. Another thing that I've seen, like my, my mom one time set the microwave for like four minutes and then she forgot to put anything in it. And what that does is since the whatever you're heating isn't getting hot, the inside of the microwave is getting hot. And on top of the uh, magnetron, you have a thermal cutout back here. This is a 
basically a, a switch that will turn off if it gets too hot and uh, it might take 20 minutes till the microwave will work again but it's actually saving your magnetron um, another thing that can also go bad is these switches if they're not clicking properly uh, they're not working right so these little micro switches you should hear a uh, a click when the door shuts because it has uh, the doors have like little latches like this that lock into those switches so as I said we're gonna mainly be after this transformer and uh, down here on the bottom is your primary winding and up top is your secondary winding and the primary is much thicker and the secondary is much thinner and uh, you don't want to play around at all with this transformer because uh, this actually has enough power to kill you so you need to make sure you know what you're doing when you start screwing around with these things what we're going to do is we're going to remove the secondary and replace it with our own secondary and we're going to use uh, basically a two gauge wire uh, for our spot welder so to get the transformer out of here first thing you need to do is unplug your magnetron so wiggle out that man baby's on there all right got that out and then uh, there's two terminal clips down here so we're gonna pull these out off our primary I don't need a pliers so I popped all my wires off the transformer and there's a couple that go back to that capacitor in the back so you got to be real careful and make sure that that uh, capacitor uh, was not used lately I haven't had this thing plugged in since like two days ago so I know that that's dead next thing I'm going to do is uh, flip this thing back and take off these mounting screws so we're looking at the bottom of the unit. On the bottom there's some filters. You always want to make sure that you get all the dust and dirt and grease out of these. You know, if they get too hot, uh, that can cause your magnetron to overheat as well. And down here are the uh, mounting screws for our uh, transformer. So I've taken about 20 minutes, kind of ripped through everything that's of use. I have uh, the main board for the microwave. This thing's uh, the turntable. This is like a, the little motor that turns the uh, glass tray over there. Um, I got three light bulbs and sockets. Um, some micro switches. And these, these things should click if they're working. Um, the magnetron of course I got the the cooling fan circulation fan uh, the exhaust fan and over here this is the transformer that I'm going to use for spot welder I'm going to use the power cord for spot welder and uh, I think I'm going to use this handle for the spot welder and I'll be using uh, a micro switch, one of these, for the uh, spot welder. And I think that's basically it. Um, here's a look at the, uh, I know I was telling you about the capacitor. Uh, this is drained. And basically what you'd want to do, if you want to short this thing out, you get some heavily insulated pliers and you want to apply it to the leads and it'll it'll spark and uh, that'll that'll drain your capacitor um, these things are kinda good I, I have used them in the past you can you can charge this thing up with like a, a 12 volt battery like uh, from a car or a tractor and that'll give this thing a charge and uh, incidentally these don't have polarity so you don't have to worry about that charge it up and then what you can do is you can use put some leads on this thing and you can touch those leads to uh, like a NICAD battery that's not taking a charge and uh, 
that'll help free up that battery so that's one thing that I use these for um, uh, the, the main fuse talk a little bit about how the fuses go bad this is actually well it's a ceramic fuse and that's what they use uh, you know most electronics these days you can test them if you're not sure if they work you can set your multimeter to ohms and uh, you should have a reading right through the fuse so from end to end as you can see we're getting continuity through there um, you know also if you have a problem with your microwave it can be one of your switches these switches you can you can test for continuity as well so you just hook up your meter and click the switch it'll either uh, cause your meter to beep or if you hook your probes from your meter up to these terminals um, it might start beeping right away like it's a closed connection and then when you hit the switch it opens it up so I think the uh, the red ones are closed no they're open so when you hit the switch it closes it and the ones with the little micro switch with the green it's uh, normally a closed switch so it'll it'll ring right away and then when you hit the switch it opens it up so that's you know some of the parts of the microwave so uh, I don't know, it's kind of a shame taking, away, uh, taking apart a good microwave, but uh, I, I think it'll be pretty cool to make a spot welder. So we're going to try that out in the next video. Anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6, and this is what's going on in the shop here tonight. And uh, keep posted. Be making some new videos um, coming up pretty soon. Take care.